Okay then, it's time to get some real life modelling done. So, um, what we're going to do first is use the side view to get modelling. So we need to change to that view. Um, there we go, make it full screen so that we can see what we're doing. Um, that looks pretty good to me. So, the first thing you need to do is um, put it into vertex mode. Okay, so make sure you can see all of um, the vertices. Um, I'm actually going to turn the grid off by clicking on the grid icon because I can see that's getting in my way a little bit. Uh, and finally, what I'm going to do is there's a mode called um, X-ray. Uh, which is that? Yeah. So by clicking on that, N nothing nothing will happen. <laughs> if I press 5 it will it'll work, there we go. So I put it into a hardware texturing view so when I turn that on it means I can still see through it uh, but everything's a little bit more solid so it's just a little bit easier for me to work in. Right, so that's now ready to go. So the technique you need is vertex mode is on, you're always going to work on a row of vertices at a time. Okay, at least one row. We're not going to work on individual vertices uh, because that's how the sort of topology of your mesh gets all messy. It looks it looks rubbish. It will work rubbish. So I'm going to select this first front row by dragging a selection. I've got them all. And the two tools I need to use for this are my move tool and my scale tool. So I'm going to scale uniformly on only one axis. Yep, I'm using this one here. If I scale from the middle, it's going to also be working on my front view, which I don't want. Yep. So I'm just going to do this. So I'm going to try and scale it in, and then position it into place. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can be more precise with this. Okay, and then just try and get that into place. That for the first row looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Right, then on to the next row. Now you can also move these side to side. So I'm going to put this one here for the beginning of the intake. And then just scale this down as well. Now I can already see that I'm missing a little bit of the curve but I can come back and fix that later which I'm feeling inclined to do there we go that's that next row done I'm going to put the next row down just at the beginning of this wing so that will allow me to sort that out later I'm going to completely ignore the air intake at the moment I'm just positioning things ready for it later um, so I'm just going to roughly follow where I think the plane would go if that wasn't there just move that up a little bit I think or down a bit I think like that scale that in a little bit more oh no that's gone wrong okay so I'm just gonna move that up I'm happy with that row um, the next row the position of that that I think I need um, I'm going to put this one in the middle of the wing because I know I'm going to need some verts in fact I'm going to put it here I am going to need some more vertices later to allow me to put the detail onto the wing so I'm going to put that one if I'll put it in the middle of the, the wing for now okay so I'll scale that down again move it into position like that. Okay. Am I happy with that? I don't think I am. No, I want to just scale that in a little bit more. Too far. Too. Come on, dude, get a grip. What are you doing? Move that up a smidge. Yeah, that's alright. Okay, next row. Down to here. Okay, now at this point. I think you will agree this is getting very repetitive. So, I think it's time I leave you to break off on your own uh, and follow on this little this little modeling adventure. So what I want you to do is continue this um, all the way down to the end of the plane. Make sure you do keep the cockpit in. Yep, you follow all the bottom of the plane up and I want you to model uh, the tail in as well. <laughs> tail. Okay, so um, I'll meet you in the next video with this all done um, down to the end. Good luck!